Dear children, let us continue the sound chapter. The concept we are going to study today is audible and inaudible sound. As you all know, there are some sounds which we can hear and there are some sounds which we cannot hear. So the sounds which we can hear is called as audible and the sound which we cannot hear is called as inaudible so the sounds are classified into audible and inaudible sounds so audible sounds is having a frequency from 20 hertz to 20000 hertz so if the sound with frequency in between 20 hertz to 20000 hertz it is called as audible sound and the sound with frequency less than 20 hertz and more than 20000 hertz which we cannot hear it is called as inaudible so the sound of frequency less than 20 hertz and more than 20000 hertz is not audible to us okay so audible sounds we can define it as sounds which can be heard by us are called as audible sounds for example the range of the audible frequency for human ear is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz if the question is asked audible frequency of human ear is it is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz okay hertz is the unit of frequency so it means human beings can hear sound having frequency from 20 hertz to 20000 hertz then what is inaudible the sounds which we cannot hear which we are not able to hear they are called as inaudible sounds for example the human beings cannot hear sound having frequency less than 20 hertz so the frequency of sound having less than 20 hertz this kind of sound is called as infrasonic sound or infra sound it is called as what is infrasonic sound it is the sound of fre having frequency less than 20 hertz the frequency range of less than 20 hertz that sound is called as infrasonic sound and the frequency more than 20000 hertz they are called as ultrasonic sound or ultra sound it is called as okay the frequency of sound have more than 20000 hertz more than 20000 hertz it is called as ultrasonic so infrasonic sounds and ultrasonic sounds are inaudible to human ear okay so inaudible sounds they are infrasonic sound and ultrasonic sound infrasonic sounds frequency is less than 20 hertz and ultrasonic sound frequency is more than 20000 hertz whether then what are ultrasonic sounds sounds having frequency greater than 20000 hertz are called as ultrasonic so can ultrasonic sounds can be heard by animals so as you all know infrasonic and ultrasonic sound cannot be heard by human ear but an ultrasonic sound having frequency more than 20000 hertz can be heard by animals yes some animals can hear ultrasonic sound for example dog cat bats etc so it is having some higher range of hearing ability okay so some animals are having high range of hearing ability of frequency more than 20000 hertz so for example some dog trainers use special kinds of whistle due to high frequency by of for their dogs so you can use it is used by some uh, policeman right so to cid police use the dogs so this whistle can be heard only by dogs but this cannot be heard by human beings this whistle cannot be heard by human beings but the dogs can hear so where it is used to detect the uh, thief okay so here it is used by uh, the ultrasonic sound is heard by some animals so bats so bats also produce the sound 
so an ultrasonic sound is produced which is having more than 20000 hertz and also it is used by the bats to locate the prey or any obstacle so this ultrasonic sound is used by the animals so what is the use of ultrasonic sound for human beings how it is used so it is used for medical diagnostic in medical lab test so why it is used in medical purpose it is used to find the locate the internal organs to see the internal organs of the body it is used by the doctors to see the internal body parts so you may have heard ultrasound scanning is done right ultra uh, ultra scanning ultrasound scanning is done it is used to locate the internal organs body parts okay to scan the internal body parts ultrasound is used where it is having frequency more than 20000 hertz next it is also used to check the depth of the ocean how deep the ocean is how deep the sea is to check that ultrasound is used okay in further classes you will study how it is used from where the ultrasound is produced everything you will learn it so it is used to check the depth of the ocean next it is also used in the treatment of muscle pain so when there is a muscle pain arthritis so that time also the ultrasound is used mi uh, mri scanning is done right so there also uh, ultrasound is used okay next let us study the next topic that is noise and music so as you all know there are some sound which is pleasant to hear and there are some sound which irritates us which is not pleasant to hear we call irritating sound so a sound which is pleasant to hear is called as music in the same way the sound which is irritating we call it as noise right for example sound of a musical instrument it is a music which will be pleasant to hear in the same way the sound of the horns of the bus which is irritating which which is noise it is called as so sounds are classified into two noise and musical sound so what is noise noise is a unpleasant sound unpleasant sound are called as noise which are not pleasant to hear by our ear it is noise it is produced by irregular vibrations there will be no regular vibrations there will be irregular vibrations so it is called as noise for example if we all the students in the classroom speak together a noise is produced right you children when you are sitting in the classroom at once all of you start speaking that time for the teacher it is a noise so the teacher says you all don't do uh, don't uh, do noise right so all the students in a classroom speak together that time a noise is produced or sound produced by the horns of the buses trucks etc any other vehicles it is a noise okay so sound which is pleasing to hear it is called as musical sound it is a music it produce it is produced by regular vibrations as you all know sound is produced by the vibrations of the object when the object vibrate sound is produced so if it is a regular vibration it is musical sound if it is irregular vibration it becomes noise so musical sound example it is the sound produced by the musical instrument sound of a person singing a song so it is pleasing to hear right so it is music uh, uh, we call it as musical sound so what is the difference between noise and music then the sounds which are pleasing to hear is called as noise and the sound which are unpleas unpleasant to hear it is called as noise okay which is pleasant music unpleasant sound not pleasant it is noise we do not like such sounds whether we uh, like to hear noise no music we like such sounds example sound produced by the musical instrument like guitar piano it is music 
and the sounds of the vehicle that is noise okay so noise pollution there are the presence of excessive sound or unwanted sound in the environment is called as noise pollution so noise pollution is produced by uh, the vehicles so un unwanted sound which is produced during the traffic it may be right so we call it as noise pollution so the presence of excessive sound too much of sound or unwanted sound we call it as uh, noise pollution so sound which we do not want to hear so excessive sound at once when it is produced we call it as noise pollution so what causes noise pollution you can see in the picture here the sounds uh, the speaker sound there are vehicles right during the the train sound so there are speakers mic and all so the there are some buildings here where it is produced more sound uh, it is a junction area right so where these are the causes of noise pollution so let us study one by one now causes of noise pollution so first motor vehicles on road so as you know when you uh, are in the uh, when you are uh, standing uh, in the rush where there is a queue so there mo motor vehicles sound which is produced they produce lot of noise because of horns right and sound of their engines so this motor vehicles on road causes noise pollution the sound it produces a noise okay next cause is bursting of crackers yes bursting of crackers during festivals like diwali it produces lot of noise the third cause is the loud speakers at high volume so when the loud speaker the sound of the loud speaker during it may be during election and during festival it produces noise pollution loud sound unwanted sounds which produce noise pollution next the fourth cause that is construction of building so during the construction lot of sound is produced due to different machines and use of hammer and all is it so con during construction of building also it produces noise pollution okay the next is which the tv at high volume so noise pollution by different appliances at home for example playing tv or uh, uh, radio at high volume that also it produces noise pollution our use of kitchen appliances like hand mixer you can see here so when the mixer is on it produces lot of sound so electrical appliances also produce lot of noise okay next sound of aeroplane and helicopter they produce lot of sound during the take off and landing okay so uh, the, the these are all the causes of sound so whether this noise pollution uh, it it these are the causes of noise pollution okay so whether it is harmful for the human beings yes sometimes it becomes harmful so what are the harmful effects of noise pollution then so the first is it disturbs sleep so if your uh, home is in the junction area then where there is more vehicles which are running on the road so that time the sounds of the vehicles where it produces noise pollution due to which it disturbs the sleep okay so this is the first harmful effect second is hypertension too much of noise pollution can cause high bp okay so too much of noise pollution causes high high bp okay hypertension so next is temporary or permanent loss of hearing so continuous you are listening to noise it may lead to temporary or permanent loss of hearing okay next lack of concentration so you are not able to concentrate in studies in case there is a high noise pollution is it so in when the teacher is uh, teaching if there is noise produced that time there will be lack of 
concentration so you cannot concentrate to on the studies okay the last is headache and irritation so the it produces a continuous use of uh, uh, hearing the noise where uh, this noise pollution will lead to headache and irritation so these are the harmful effects of noise pollution then how can we control this noise pollution yes we can control the sources of noise pollution there are different steps which are taken by government it may be or business as well as by us for controlling noise pollution then how can uh, the business or by government or by us how can we control this noise pollution yes let us see how can government curb noise pollution so government can make rules that factories and industries should be set up away from the residential area so if the factories and industries are away from the area, uh, area what happens there is there is a less noise pollution government shall plant more trees so trees cut sound and helps in reducing noise pollution so if we plant more trees it will reduce noise pollution okay rules for use of loud speaker should be made so there will be there must be some rules to use a loud speaker they should not be allowed at night at night there are some people who are uh, using during uh, festivals or it may be or during marriages at night they will use the uh, loud speaker at high volume so it disturbs the sleep for other people right so there should be a rules for the you proper use of loud speakers okay and how can business control noise pollution yes so silencing devices silencers should be used in engines vehicles aircraft and different appliances there should be a silencer where it reduces noise of this engine or vehicles okay they shall set up factories away from the residential area so factory should be away from the residential area okay so then how can we control noise pollution yes we also can control noise pollution right so at home if we are using tv or radio we have to use it at low volume so that we can control noise pollution use less horns while drive, driving so when we are driving or when we are in the traffic so we must use less horn we should plant more trees because trees cut and help in reducing noise pollution okay so we should plant more trees where we can reduce noise pollution and we should use loud speakers at low volume and should not play music too loudly during parties or any functions okay so loud speaker should be used at low volumes and we should not burst crackers so if we burst crackers not only noise pollution there is also air pollution which is caused is it so avoid bursting crackers next the last is we can turn off appliances which are not in use so if it is not in use we have to turn off it so this is how we can control noise pollution okay then what is hearing impairment yes what is hearing impairment it means loss or difficulty in hearing there are some people who are having difficulty in hearing or they don't cannot hear so this is called as hearing impairment it is of two different types first is total hearing impairment and partial hearing impairment okay so total hearing impairment and partial let us see what is total hearing impairment first so if a person is not able to hear completely means he is not we can say he is deaf right we call it as total hearing impairment this dis disability is generally from birth so when during the birth only the person is not able to hear okay so we call it as total hearing impairment he is not able to hear for example those people who are deaf are said to have total hearing 
impairment deaf people they are called as total they are having total hearing impairment then what is partial hearing impairment there are some person has difficulty in hearing it is called partial hearing impairment they can hear but they cannot hear at some distance or they cannot hear loud sound or they cannot hear soft sound so partially the it is audible for them this disability is generally due to some disease or at the old age or if there is some injury it happens partial hearing impairment is produced okay so example in old age some person are not able to hear soft voices we have to speak with the old age people loudly so they can hear if we have soft voice they cannot hear they are able to hear only when spoken to loudly okay so this is a case of partial hearing impairment due to old age people okay why do people who are deaf also have difficulty in speaking you may have seen who are deaf they have difficulty in speaking also because yes as we know speech will develop when we hear a sentence so if we are not hearing from birth then how can how is the speech developed so due to that reason people who are deaf have difficulty in speaking so we are able to speak a sentence only when we have once heard it so when we hear we are going to learn to speak right so those people who have not heard a sentence do not know how to speak it so they are having both hearing and speaking difficulty okay so how to help the patient with hearing impairment how can we help them so hearing aid device help people hear you may have hear, uh, seen this uh, apparatus right this uh, is used this is a hearing impairment device aid this hearing aid amplifies the sound increases the volume of the sound and make it easier for people for with partial hearing impairment to hear so it is used for the partial hearing impairment those who cannot hear um, those who cannot hear clearly uh, the uh, soft sound for them this device will help to increase the sound volume of the sound and make it easier for the people with partial hearing impairment okay so what uh, use of sign language so sign language is used so we can use sign language to communicate with those people who are not able to hear completely that means deaf people are there so we can use sign language so for, for permanent hearing impairment if it is for them we can use sign language for example uh, news in the sign language is displayed on doordarshan so in the uh, channel the news is uh, displayed we using the sign language okay so this is about uh, hearing impairment so we have completed the chapter sound i hope you all have understood all the concept it is clear the all the concepts are cleared for you so if you have any doubts you can ask me okay thank you have a good day